What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to give you some tips for companions here on console. As you can see, the uh, PS4 North American server just went live, so I haven't unlocked anything here in Blackwood. But I want to go ahead and give you guys some tips for everyone starting out. The first big tip that I can give you is get your companions early. You do not have to complete the zone quest here in Blackwood to unlock the companions. They have their own quest line. Uh, one companion, which is Miri, is located here in Blackwood. As you can see, it's kind of that uh, little building that shows there on the map. You can kind of see the outline of it. That is where Miri's quest is located. And if you would like to unlock Bastion, the quest for Bastion is located right here. Now, the next thing you need to know about companions is their XP is based on your XP. So that's why I'm saying you need to unlock them as early as possible. So whatever you're out doing, the XP you're gaining, if you're a uh, companion is out and running around with you as long as you don't have it dismissed it's going to be gaining that xp these companions are going to go to level 20 you're going to be able to unlock different things on them from weapon to gear to skill lines to racial skill lines all that stuff pretty much the same thing that we have here on our characters you're going to be able to unlock on your companion now will it be the exact same wording when it comes to the skills and things no but just be sure that you're unlocking them early that way you can start on all these different skill lines they have also, uh, your companions are your companions level is going to be account wide. Now you're going to need to unlock the companion on each individual character. So if you're like myself, you have a lot of different characters. You want companions on each character. You're going to have to make sure that that companion is, uh, you know, you have to go get them and do the quest on each individual character. But once the companion is unlocked, kind of think of it as like CP is, uh, whatever you know level your companion is is going to be that level across all of your characters so they're the companion level is account wide uh one thing that you also can do uh that's going to be a good idea to begin with because companion gear is expensive and the drops are very uh, very rare excuse me uh you can buy white gear from the weaponsmith the woodworker and the leather worker any of those npcs that you know can sell white gear to you will also sell white companion gear so there's going to be that white basic level companion gear but at least you can go out and get some gear for either a tank, DPS, healer, however you want to set your companion up. You can purchase that gear. It'll be a lot cheaper, a lot quicker, and a lot easier than getting the companion gear to drop. Like I said, the companion gear drops are very rare. And if PC is kind of any indication, the prices are going to be extremely high for a while for companion gear. There's a lot of companion gear on PC. If you look at Tamriel Trade Center online, um, there is going to be some prices from like 400,000 to a million per piece. So getting that white gear is probably going to be your best bet to begin with. Now, when it comes to companion gear, green, blue, and purple gear will drop in the world from overland, uh, just boss, you know, overland, just enemies, world bosses, world events, and oblivion portals. So be sure, you know, if you're doing any of these things to make sure that you're getting those drops, you need to have your companion active. If your companion is dismissed, it will not drop gear. So your companion needs to be active for that gear to drop. Like I said, it is a very rare drop. So make sure your companion is out at all times if you're trying to farm companion gear. Um, your companion gear will have traits on them. You need to make sure you learn the traits. There's a lot of different traits out there. I don't think everybody has quite figured out what the best traits are just yet. But make sure you're learning and reading these traits so you can kind of figure out what the you know what traits going to be best suited for what build you're trying to make for your companion. And last but not least, one thing I want to mention really quickly is I was talking about the different skill lines that you have on your companion, like your weapon skill lines, your armor, uh, your armor, your racial uh, skill lines. You also can unlock the Undaunted, Mage's Guild, and Fighter's Guild for your companions. The way you're going to need to do those, uh, do these, or go do the Undaunted, Mage's Guild, and Fighter's Guild dailies. I'm sure most of you have seen these before, probably done them years ago. You may not do them very often now, but to unlock the skill lines for the companions, you're going to need to complete those Undaunted uh, and mages and fighters guild dailies to unlock those three skill lines as well. Anyway, guys, I hope this was kind of helpful to give you some quick tips here on console to kind of help you with the companions here on day one of the Blackwood chapter. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know how you're enjoying Blackwood and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.